All right. Quick video on uh, another infinite series. This is my sum end. If you're not familiar with that term, it's the same thing as integrand. It's the thing you're summing. The thing you're integrating is the integrand. The thing you're summing is the sum end. So I'm looking at my sum end. Uh, I want to say something about, well, does this series converge or diverge? Again, go through my various tests. Okay, divergence uh, theorem. Take the limit of the, the terms. Okay, uh, integral test is not going to work. Bottom line is I want to try comparison again, but I want to go over just how to decide what to compare it to. I want to point something out. Uh, in the sort of my thought process here. If I just ignore the 3k, 3 to the k, this is 5 to the k over 4 to the k. You should recognize that. If I ignore the 3 to the k, that's 5 to the k over 4 to the k, it's 5 fourths to the k. It's geometric with common ratio 5 fourths. If I ignore the 4 over 4 to the k, that's 5 to the k over 3 to the k. Again, that's geometric with common ratio of 5 thirds. You should be thinking this thing diverges. Okay, but we can't just say it diverges and we're done with it. We have to do actually a comparison. So let's make a comparison. You may want to do the limit comparison. Uh, I didn't try that. Maybe it will work. I'm going to do the direct comparison. So what I want to compare it to, you need to be careful here. Okay, if I, you think about this for a second, if I think that this is going to diverge, if I think this is going to diverge, this needs to be greater than something that diverges. Well, I claim, after some thought, that this is greater than or equal to 5 to the k divided by 4 to the k plus 4 to the k. So uh, what did I do here? What I did basically was I increased the denominator. The denominator increased from 3 to the k to 4 to the k. If the denominator is larger, that means this number is smaller. So this number is smaller than this one, and this is true for k greater than or equal to 1. We pretty much have it now because what is the right-hand side? The right-hand side is equal to 5 to the k divided by, I have the same thing, I'm adding it, 2 times 4 to the k. Two of those. All right. Uh, let me write this one other way. So this is equal to 1 half times 5 fourths to the k. You should recognize that. Again, I mean, this is geometric. First term, well, depending on what I start k at, the first term could be a half or a half times 5 fourths, and the common ratio is 5 fourths. So we know, so since, since the sum from k equal 1 to infinity of 1 half times 5 fourths to the k is geometric, is geometric with our, right, the common ratio equals 5 fourths. If the common ratio exceeds 1 or is less than negative 1, it diverges. It diverges. This thing diverges. So since this thing diverges, since this ge uh, geometric series diverges, and the one we're looking at actually is larger than it, Okay, we can conclude, we conclude that this one also diverges. The series at hand, k equal 1 to infinity of 5 to the k over 3 to the k plus 4 to the k also diverges. By comparison. By comparison. Hopefully you understood what we did. Comment below and like the video.